Uh, are you on the list? Are you one of the politicians that's been banned? Do you know at this point? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no intention or plans to travel to Russia anyhow. Um, you know, as the Taoiseach said, diplomacy matters no matter how unpalatable it might seem. And you would want, obviously, to, to reciprocate and to close the embassy and ask those that are in it to pack their bags and exit our shores. But I think what has been uh, consistent during the course of this terrible war, and this uh, is the unity across Europe, the unity within the EU, um, and it's important that we maintain that unity and we don't allow uh, this Russian um, effort on their part to break, break that up, and this is only part of that sort of campaign and that we they know engage Simon, in. Uh, Simon Coveney has summoned the Russian ambassador uh, to Ivy House tomorrow, I believe, What's he going to say to him, do you think? Well, he again re reiterate the Irish people, the Irish government's abhorrence of the illegal aggression um, and invasion by Russia into uh, US sovereign Ukraine and reiterate our abhorrence and our, our, our total opposition to it um, and the fact that we will continue to work with our partners in Europe to do everything we can to help and assist the Ukrainian people and resist uh, that aggression that has been... Um, visited upon them. Do you think he should look for the Russian uh, ambassador to intervene here and to try and get that decision reversed? Which decision? The decision to ban the Taoiseach and 50 others from Russia. Well, I, I don't think it's very relevant, to be quite honest. Um, as I said to you, I'm sure nobody else that's on this list has any intention of travelling to Russia. Um, so it's not but we do have a, we do have a Russian, We do have an Irish embassy there. There may only be four in it, but they do represent our interests and those of our citizens and those who engage with them. Uh, and it's important that we maintain that, and that might have to be reciprocated by maintaining the, the, the diplomatic procedures that we have here in relation to the Russian embassy as much as we would like to think we could uh, ban them, as I said earlier. Because we saw uh, Neil Richmond uh, from Fine Gael once again calling today for that Russian embassy, which is in his constituency, to be closed and for the ambassador to be expelled. Now, as Barry pointed out, Russian Churchill, we, Ireland, has an embassy in Russia. So there's maybe a bit of a quid pro quo here. What do you think should happen? Well, first of all, this is an extraordinary decision. It seemed to come completely out of the blue. The Taoiseach clearly didn't get any notice of it. And it's very hard to understand what the thinking is. I'm not aware of any other European country that has had a similar experience in relation to sanctions. Um, it's, it's just not on. I'm glad that uh, the Minister for Foreign Affairs has uh, summoned the, the ambassador in tomorrow. But I do think that we need to seriously think now about uh, closing the embassy um, and at a minimum sanctioning the, the ambassador himself. In what way? Well, he could be expelled. And there's been a lot of calls for his expulsion uh, since, you know, over, over recent months. Um, there has to be some response to this. I, I think it's right to call him in, ask him what this is about, what their thinking is. And uh, I, I think we need to consider now some sanction in return for that. Harry? I just don't think it's on to continue like this and to, to have that kind of treatment of our most senior politicians. Yeah, I accept um, that this can't simply be brushed aside. This can't, simply can't, uh, that nothing should be done about it, of course. And I accept and appreciate and welcome the Minister for Foreign Affairs to bring the Ambassador in before him and reiterate their total abhorrence in relation to the ongoing he's, he's war He's done that before, hasn't he? Has, he? He's he done has, the Russian Ambassador has. before and I don't think it's made any and, difference. And, and this sort of play acting is unprecedented. Uh, it, it, it serves no purpose um, and, you know, we won't, be, we won't be deterred in our efforts to help and support the Ukrainian people uh, by any such action on the part of the Very Russians. Very briefly, do you have any understanding why the Taoiseach and 50 other politicians and senior officials have been targeted? No, I don't. And and like I said, you know, I, I'm not so sure what purpose it serves. I'm not sure what engagement the Taoiseach or others would have envisaged by going to Russia. As I said, you know, we have set our stall out by working with our partners within the EU in order to ensure that there's unity. And that sort of unity is something that the Russians would like to deter and would like to break. Uh, when they do that, or if they were to do that, that's when they are making progress, and we can't allow that. 